oh, 2018. In this day and age, we're always on our phones. Like, I was just starting this video and I'm texting. What the hell? Put that thing down. Wait, don't. Pick it up because you're gonna need it for your PAX era. Or I'm gonna need it for mine anyway. I want to talk to you about the PAX Era. It is a really cool device that is now available to people in the state of Florida who have their medical marijuana cards. The PAX wasn't available really in Florida before, it wasn't being distributed by any dispensaries anyway, but now Liberty Health Sciences is selling the PAX and they're also selling pods that go with the PAX that have THC. They only have the THC ones and then they have like one that's a CBD one. The PAX device is about $30. Um, and the pods that Liberty Health Sciences is selling are, the THC ones are $65 each, and then there's one CBD pod that is like $70. So not super cheap. The THC ones have 400 milligrams of product, so they're about a half gram cartridge slash pod. Just like the True Pod and True Stick and a few of the other products on the market, this is a magnetic product, so you just take your pod, stick it in the device, and it's just that easy. And there's no button or anything, you just inhale. So. I have a jewel here to show you for sizing purposes. So if you've ever seen a jewel in person, the PAX era is only it's only slightly longer and slightly thicker too. Well, yeah. It's quite a bit thicker, but they're but it's not much heavier or anything. It's very, very light. Well design. I think it looks sexy, you know? It's a it's a sexy device, let's be honest. So anyway, I know, how rude of me to have my phone out while I'm filming. Like what am I doing? Texting while I'm filming? What's wrong with me? Well, okay, I'll put the phone down. Just kidding, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> that was so cheesy. Just kidding, I'm gonna need it for the PAX. I'm gonna need the PAX app to use the PAX, okay? That's the thing. So stay with me, don't knock it till you try it. Even if you're from an age when social media and phones didn't control the whole world, well, I was also from a world like that. When I was younger, um, nobody had, the iPhones didn't exist yet, technology was, pretty essential to life, but it wasn't like, the world wasn't nearly as um, technologically based as it is now. So, and and phone based, I guess, cloud based. Everything is a cloud, everything's cloud based. So yeah, there's a PAX app that you use with the product, with the device. You can do some cool stuff with the device from there. I'm just gonna tell you a couple of the things that I think are super awesome. Those things include session control option that you have on the PAX era and also the temperature control. So the temperature control is really cool because it has a huge range of temperature options. There's a 430 degree setting and you can go all the way up to 790 degrees, which I think would be really, really hot and high, but I mean, it's up to you however you wanna use it. But the, even at 430 degrees Fahrenheit, you do get a little cloud of vapor, but it's just very small. I've used this up to like 600 degrees Fahrenheit and then that's a little bit of a stronger pull. But yeah, you could even go up from there and make it even stronger. But personally, I like using this one on the lower settings and like this is great because I feel like the product is still effective and the temperature, like the low temperature settings are much more smooth and easy to inhale. I've had some issues with many different products really. I actually tend to cough like a lot with every product these days. Like my lungs are probably failing. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed all these reviews because I probably am going to like have to get a lung transplant one day. Um, it's not funny to joke about, I realize that. But um, you know how I do, guys. My jokes are kind of dark. So like, I don't want that to happen to me at all. I'm actually thinking about taking a pretty long break from vaping shit for a while because, like, I don't know. It can't be great for you, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that my lungs can't handle a lot of products that are on the market, but I can definitely use this thing on lower temperatures at like 430 up to maybe 460 degrees and not cough at all. And I really love that because I don't want to just like have to cough every time I take a hit of anything and I get that that's part of it like that's kind of part of using most products but I don't like that part so that's something I really like about it is the temperature control I like that there's a big span of options in the temperature control department from the control center in the app yes the app for this product like I don't know you can do whatever you want with it it's it's your pack so <laughs> you can do whatever you want like it's whatever I'm not judging you you can also change the color of the little light like that lights up on there like you can make it red or you can make it yellow or blue, get brighter, so many things. And there's even games you can play on this thing, like what the fuck? Um, honestly, that's kind of the coolest thing ever. You can, um, if there's like a memory one that like, you have to try to like remember how it lit up, like, 
Like, you have to go, like, I don't know, you tilt it around or something. I don't know, I, I suck at this one, but there's games you can play on here. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I like that. And one more really cool thing about the product that I like a lot is the session control. So some people might say that $65 is a lot for a half gram of oil in a cartridge for a product. I don't necessarily think you're wrong if you think that. However, the thing about the PAX Air that's cool and that can help you to preserve how much product you have for longer and it can help you stretch the life of that $65 pod out over a period of time that might be longer than it would be with a product that doesn't have session control or so many temperature control options. Um, I think that feature on the PAX era is one way that you can kind of justify the cost of this product because I do think that by using session control and actually being mindful of how much you're using and also if you want to use a lower temperature setting you can do that instead of burning up all your oil really fast. I think these are all great things about the PAX era and I like it a lot. So even if you're not super technologically inclined, it's really easy to use. All you do is when you when you get it and you unbox it, you need to charge it up, get it to a full charge. That's probably the best way to start anyway. After you get it to charge up, you download the PAX Aero app and then you shake your device until it turns blue and then that means you're connected to the app and then you can do all your stuff from the app on your phone. It's really easy. And then once you leave it on a certain temperature setting, you can just like put your phone in your pocket or whatever and just vape away. Or you can put on session control and it'll control the amount that you use in any given session that you use it during. Anytime you use the product and it'll shut off after you hit a certain amount of product having been used during that session. I like the product. So yeah, the packs, the Jewel are very close to the same size, but they're not quite the same. Packs is a little bit larger with a pod inside of it. And then it's a little bit wider too than the, than the Jewel. This is the jewel and this is the pack. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see another video soon, what you want to see in the video. Also, I may or may not be starting a merch store. <laughs> Honestly, super excited about it. No, I didn't like put any upfront costs into anything. It's, um, I found a way to sell merch without having to actually like put upfront a lot of money. And I could potentially make a buck, like literally a few bucks off of this. Like if someone buys a shirt, I think I'm gonna get like five bucks, if that. So, I'm gonna start selling those, which is gonna be cool. Like I'm not literally selling them myself, but you'll see you'll see the details soon, don't worry. But um, if you have any suggestions for words or phrases you wanna see on um, my LEK shirts that I'm gonna make, well, that I'm gonna have made for you guys and that I'm gonna have in my merch store. <laughs> so funny to say that. Let me know your favorite like LEK inside joke, if there are any. I don't even know if there are. I can't even think of any. But I'm thinking about doing like cute, cool designs. And I'm honestly, I think it would be cool too to do some designs that have to do with just Florida-based medical marijuana, like things that only other Florida medical marijuana patients would know about. Like I can't really use copyrighted things, I can't use names of brands at all, so I have to be kind of creative with um, any of that stuff, any like Florida-specific medical marijuana related stuff. I want to do one that says like I'm pro-flower and put flowers on it maybe, I don't know, some cool shit like that. Let me know what you think about that in the comments, let me know if you want to see that and what you want to see on my shirts that I sell to you. If you want to buy one, then that would be so great. Help your girl make money and help me, I don't know, escape my like boring ass life and um, be a vlogger. I don't know. Is that the goal? I don't know, guys. I still don't know what I'm doing with my life. I probably will never figure it out, but this has been fun while well, I lasted and I'll see you guys next time. Okay. This was a fun video. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and like the video if you liked it. Okay. See you next time. Bye.